SR10, probably one of the most misunderstood uh, AK type or rifles uh, in United States. For sure, one of the most hated ones by some. Uh, and uh, I just wanna tell you the story of my Wasser 10. Uh, this is the 2015 model, so uh, two years in uh, AK Operators Union service. And uh, after the initial uh, shock and awe test on the Wasser, he went actually, uh, he traveled through across the United States with me uh, through uh, many of our classes. And uh, this rifle served as the backup for students uh, when their rifles were going down during the classes. And uh, very often I was uh, lending them uh, Wasser to finish, finish the class, finish the course. So over the, the two years, uh, that Wasser has more than 10,000 rounds. So this is a, ten, I call that 10,000 rounds update. Actually 10,000 rounds was uh, uh, scored on this rifle very early this year uh, and it's uh, you know July right now, but I had no time to, to do the video update on it. But I just wanna share with you how this rifle is performing and what's going on inside and you know you, you can see it with your own eyes. So uh, in my eyes guys uh, are the wassers perfect? Absolutely not. Uh, this is uh, basically a starter rifle. This is the, the way I'm looking at it. This is to get you into the hobby uh, for the AK. Something where you can have it. Uh, the prices right now trending between uh, 600 and 700 dollars for the Wasser. But as you can see, it takes a regular AK furniture. You can put the regular AK muzzle brakes on it. Uh, it has no dimples. Some people hate that. Uh, you know, uh, I honestly don't care. The magazines are going inside perfectly fine, and uh, they lock lock without uh, any issues and uh, you can have really you know they are stable and uh, yes there is some wobbling as you can see <laughs> on uh, some of the wassers it will be more that depends how that cutout was done uh, when converted to the uh, AK here by the Century Arms but the magazines are feeding without any issues I never had any feeding issues of, on this wasser and now uh, speaking about the issues I had in the, the course of uh, 10,000 rounds, there were a few malfunctions on this rifle and uh, most often one is the stove pipe uh, and that's pretty much it. And I don't know, uh, it was with uh, mainly with uh, the Red Army standard uh, ammo. Any other ammo, I have no issues. It's functioning perfectly fine, but we are really talking about, you can count the malfunctions on this rifle uh, on the hands of the, on the fingers of one hand. Uh, it really, it's that reliable, I shit you not. And uh, as I said, in the classes, this rifle was replacing actually uh, Arsenal, uh, Norinkos, and uh, some other legends. Uh, and uh, students were using it without uh, any hiccups and they were finishing the, the course. Now, the rifle was cleaned. Uh, I cleaned the rifle a few times, at least a few times, if I remember this correctly. Uh, and uh, it's basically what you see, uh, there, there is a wear, there is a wear on the bolt and the bolt carrier, a little bit on the locking locks, but uh, everything is within the spec. Uh, this is a normal way how you want to see the rifle aging and the rifle parts uh, aging. Some of the wassers they had the problems, the recent ones, they had the problems with the extraction. The extra extracting, ex extraction claw was not working correctly. Uh, mine was perfectly fine, but you can buy the regular AKM extraction claw and it will fit to the bolt and uh, you can uh, you know, replace it and keep rocking. And that's what the people were doing, replacing those extraction claws, which are like six, seven dollars. And uh, then uh, you got a fully functional rifle without any issues. So as far as the bolt goes, guys, uh, I pre-screened it before, uh, but uh, hopefully you're seeing the pictures, uh, really um, no issues. Uh, as I said, it's aging and uh, I would expect this to be that way. 
inside the channel um, no hiccups whatsoever uh, there is there are some markings here but nothing special there is no deformation on the piston head whatsoever and the piston head is looking great uh, as far as the tail a tail was round off uh, but uh, that was done by the the fire control group i did change the fire control group i did change the fire control group uh, i don't remember exactly when but it has thousands and thousands of rounds on that alg uh, akt trigger so as you can see that trigger didn't do uh you know any damage to the to the tail rear, rear end of the bolt carrier it's holding up very nicely as far as the trunion and uh, the chamber everything is looking perfectly fine it's just maybe a little bit more you know markings right now uh, the, on that chamber but that's again expected to be after uh, you know plus thousand rounds you're going to see some wears uh, somewhere on the mechanical parts uh, there are some you know chips and dents uh, here and there uh, like over here I got some some piece of the metal uh, you know beat up uh, but that rifle went on the ground uh, so many times that I don't even you know I, I cannot even tell you the number and uh, I would say overall it's holding up perfectly fine uh, and I have no issues whatsoever now with uh, as I said for me it's a perfect start uh, start up a rifle to get you into the hobby I know there is uh, uh, a lot of you know elites will laugh at that rifle they will say that they are uh, simply piece of shit and I don't see uh, them that way I honestly like the Wasser I like what the Wasser brings to the table for the money and I know that a lot of you guys uh, you don't have the money to pay uh, to buy the arsenal for you know the the uh, almost a thousand dollars or something and uh, you're looking at the wasser and you starting uh, the, the uh, love affection with AK with the wasser I'm perfectly fine with it I do not discriminate against the wassers so let me do the pirate everything inside the gas tube is looking as well fine uh, and this is that uh, wasser barrel it's a cold hammer forged barrel uh, they're holding up nicely uh, we started the rifle was uh, below 2 moa uh, right now at this point is still around below 3 moa uh, it moved you know the, the barrel opened up a little bit uh, but it states it's a solid uh, below 3 moa rifle so uh, I, it's within the spec what you will have from the regular M4 right between 2 and 3 MOA so it shoots very very uh, nicely uh, that's it guys I just want to share with you the, the little story of the Wasser 10 as I said this is a 2015 model and uh, that rifle uh, it, it is behind the scenes a workhorse of the AK operators union uh, it's the, the the rifle was you know canted a little bit from the beginning not much a little bit but again that's what I would expect from the wassers uh, you gotta take them uh, you know you gotta take what they offer to you and uh, for the money paid uh, I think that this is not the bad value and uh, you will have the AK style rifle and uh, you can start having some fun Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.